And now, our feature presentation. Alright, hey boysies, how you doing? How you doing this fine, fine day? We're coming to you live from a dusty old Manly Home Video Store. That's right, boys, we're digging back into X Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse. The last time on X Men Legends, we taken down Apocalypse's. Apocalypse's? Apocalypse. We've taken down the bad guy's uh, big energy system. So I'm doing the. Just getting the audio sorted here. I haven't done this live because. Thing is, so I have to change it for Police Knots because Police Knots is obviously a much louder game. No, I need to obviously. No, you need to. You know what I mean? You need to hear me talk over Police Knots dialogue. But I always forget what number I had it on before. But anyway, boysies. Yeah, so we've taken down Apocalypse's uh, power plant. We then moved on to the Madri Temple, I believe, which was being ran by the Stepford Cuckoos. Who are former students of Emma Frost, who's now, who are now working for Apocalypse, holding the, oh, was it, the military leaders in comas. So we're going to be working to free them. We're going to try and just get through as much of this game as possible. This might end up being the penultimate stream. I've just clicked. That's got Mystique there. You don't even play as Mystique. Boo! Mystique would be so much fun to play as. I guess you can't really have her turn into bosses and shit like that, you know? We kind of break the game a little bit. How you doing, boysies? How you doing? Your old dad's getting into reading comics again. We're saying that I've been reading... I've been rereading Wolverine the X-Men. One of my favourite runs of X-Men. I was re reading a bit of New Avengers, which... Was a run that... A run that I really liked when I was younger, but I never properly finished, because... I used to read... Uh, they were like Marvel... Uh, Panini used to do that. it was like Marvel uh, compilations, so it'd be like Aven Avengers, and you get like say two issues of Avengers or the like, you know. And it'd be say like two fifty. I used to read that, and then I read New Avengers all the way through to Civil War, but they, they stopped doing New Avengers after Civil War because there was that many Avengers teams after that, you know, because that's when they eventually put in the Supreme Administration Act, so that had. About, I think it was maybe three or four different Avengers teams. Anyway, book answers. Thor the fourth was born to vast wealth and possesses a will that is powerful and, and indomitable. The capture of a third will prove to be a delight of our Lord Apocalypse. Is this, clip, uh, is this a clue to the person in the Apocalypse? Uh, wait, the person will possess vast wealth? I wonder what member of the X-Men famously joins Apocalypse's horseman and is also born into wealth. I wonder who that is. I think I've literally said it before, but I'm not going to say it just for the sake of the... Just pretend that I don't know what's coming for the sake of the stream, you know? For, you know, dramatic uh, effect. Oh shit, I don't know what that, that thing is. Let's just change... What's memory wipe? Hey, anyway, I need the psychic spike, that's what I need. And I've started reading Chris Claremont's run again, because uh, that got re-released as part of the X-Men... Was it Marvel like Master Collection, whatever it is? And uh, I started reading the X Giant Size X Men one, and I'm currently just before the Proteus Saga. And lads, hot take, but famously one of the best runs of the X Men. It's pretty good. Did I get through there? That's where I'm meant to go, but the wall's not taking any damage. Cool, right? We'll figure that out somehow. Start, I, I, I've been sort of slowly making my way through the Ultimate Universe as well, but it's pretty painful, boys. Like, see, like I think that see for every one good thing in it, there's a lot of weird shit and a lot of stuff that hasn't aged particularly well. Like Ultimate Spider-Man's good. Ultimate X-Men, I'm just not. Like again, there's some things that I like about Ultimate X-Men, but some things I don't. I really don't. You know. Mainly, I can. Well, that's the, thing, the main last bad thing that happens with Ultimate, Ultimate Universe is, uh, well, 
the Ultimate Comics post Ultimatum, like some of them were really good, but Ultimatum's the last big sort of like because right, yeah, Ultimatum's just the worst. Ultimatum just Ultimatum is an event that kills off half the universe because that's what they think drama is. Or well, how do we make something seem like a big threat? I know we just kill everyone. Yes. And not in a, you know, Thanos snap everyone away and they might be able to come back later on. I mean, like, everyone dies quite horribly. It's It feels like it was written by some sort of edgy teenager. I thought it was a, a cheese that I could pick up. Right, is this where we're going? It's not a mini cerebro. Oh, used mind artifact. Right, so I don't know if I've got all of the, to the, I know tokens. I don't know if I've got all of them now. But I'm not gonna take the portal back. I'm just gonna jump in here. Go downstairs. Because I can always teleport back at the very end, you know. Uh, you tired, right? Anyway, just get, just get, destroying these boys. Yes, man, there we go. Right, and what's that? Scarlet Witch's belt. Uh, Scarlet Witch isn't great in this game. Which is a shame, because I really like Scarlet Witch. Mainly because they're running, like, Avengers in the lead up to... What you call it? Is this where I have to go? Meditation chamber. And mainly, like, the whole storyline going up to Disassembled is really good. I really like that. That's, uh... I remember I got really... That's when I got really into buying... Like, I was buying them uh, monthly at that point. Like, I think... It, when did I start buying? It was... Was it Red State? Which was the event that was near enough just before that. Because they'd done Red State. They'd done Search for She-Hulk. And then it went straight into Avengers Disassembled, yeah. And uh, the comic book... Well, the corner shop below me had Avengers and X-Men I think it was, yeah it was Avengers and uh, X-Men books, the, the Panini reprints they had, and then later on there was, there was also like Marvel Aven no, it was Marvel Legends, which was Captain America, Thor and Iron Man, there was Wolverine and Gambit at the time, which then became Wolverine and Deadpool then there was the Mighty World of Marvel, which was like a new story every, or it was like they do a storyline from a set hero and they move on to something else, you know and then I had Spider-Man as well. I got Spider-Man occasionally, but my main ones were the X-Men and the Avengers. But again, this was before Avengers was really, like, as big as it is, if you know what I mean, because for years before, Avengers was kind of just, like, it was kind of like if a hero couldn't, like, they wanted to use a hero, but they couldn't sell their own book, if you know what I mean. Like, Captain America wasn't a ma like massive sales one, so they just put them in the Avengers. Further, you misbegotten curs. We defend the artifact of the heart, and we'll make certain you'll not pass through these hallowed gates. To even attempt it will be to meet your doom. <laughs> But I was, I was reading through X-Men Blue as well, which was a run I really liked. I really liked the post-Secret Wars X-Men sort of rosters and stuff. And X-Men Blue is like... So through a bunch of different nonsense and other storylines, there was a bunch of X-Men... The original X-Men team from like the 60s and stuff, they came through a time portal. And they realised it wasn't like time travel, so they could... They didn't have to worry about like changing a timeline or whatever. And it was about Jean Grey trying to fight her destiny of, of becoming Phoenix. Beast started studying magic instead of science. I, I thought the X Men Blue were really cool because they were like this unofficial X Men group working for Magneto. Magneto was good at this point. I can never remember in, in canon if Magneto's good or bad. It seems to change again on the day of the week. But they also included like X 23 joined for a little bit. Then they had uh, Jimmy Hudson, who is Wolverine's son from a different universe, from Ultimate Universe, which I really like Jimmy Hudson. What's the switch to? 
I've got no fucking clue where that is, so I managed to lower one of the doors to the heart chamber. Now to figure out where to lower it next. But uh, Marvel does this thing where it's like they, they go, this person's going to be a big deal. And then they write him out and they never really think about him again. So during this, uh, I think it was a King and was that King and Black, or was it Ve Venomverse? Anyway, some event with Venom. They had a bit where a ton of X Men got, or a ton of even just people in the Marvel Universe got tied to symbiotes. Kind of cool. You can do stuff with that, you know. And they had Jimmy Hudson became Poison, who was like, if you mix Wolverine with a symbiote, it's, like, oh, it's kind of cool. That kind of works, you know. And then after that, they had them go, Oh, I need to go figure out what to do with myself. And he left the X-Men. And he's not been seen in comics for... I want to say at this point, it's probably be, probably been about five years. And that's thing as well, like, there's... Like, I know she's in... Like, one of my favourite comics as well is a run called Avengers Academy. And there's characters in that who were again heavily featured for about maybe a couple of years and they're like right they're gonna be the next the next generation of Avengers that's it and after they, they done a sequel story called Avengers Arena which killed half them off then they had one called Avengers Undercover which didn't sell well and now they like my girl Hazmat's no been no appeared in quite a while and if she is she's in the background of a Cat Marvel book doing nothing you know While DC does, like, again, while, like, while I do, like, DC does go back on it, with, of course, with the status quo and stuff, but, like, with Teen Titans, which is probably the closest I can say, I can, like, oh god, let's kill this radiated guy first. That's probably the closest you, you'll get to, like, an X Men equivalent, outside of Doom Patrol and shit like that. Oh, used the wrong one, shit. But, uh, you know what I mean? They've all been. Like for example, all the members of, especially actually, probably New Mutants is probably a, t a closer tie to it. Wait, who's resin them? We should probably kill them first. Found the switch. But all the members of Teen Titans have at least sort of outgrown Teen Titans. Like for example, Raven and uh, Raven, Sunfire, not Sunfire, fucking uh, Starfire, and. Uh, Cyborg have all became, you know, members of the Justice League, and you know, Robin be or Dick Grayson became Batman. You know, even though it was for a short period. While Marvel had like the new X Men, and the only one that really got out of that and became a fully fledged X Men was well, not new X Men, new mutant. Sorry, was I guess you could say like Cannonball and stuff like that, but. Magic's the only one that really stuck around, you know? And the same with things like that Wolverine the X-Men, which I think they then made like the new X-Men. Like, Herman Glob has been a character in the background. That's really about it as well, you know? Sweet. It's kind of gotten that way. X-Men's just really bad. No, uh, Marvel's really bad for just going, this is the next big thing, and then, you know, not allowing them to age up or not allowing them to move. You think I hate comics the way I, I've comp I've talked on this? Actually, I love the X Men and especially some of the weirder minor characters that show up that d never really got the attention that they deserved. Oh wait, the one that can res is trying to res. The other one that can res. Oh, this is dangerous, right? Just get scalping. No, don't you stop, stop that, you prick! I'm the only one that's allowed to come back from the dead a thousand times. Well, Jean Grey, not myself, but you know what I mean. I seen this video by, I think it was NerdSync, and it was uh, the every time Jean Grey's died, and I think the number came down to, I think it was like, confirmed about 14 or 15 times. But yeah, she's died a lot. I can't, I can't keep up with uh, stones that, with things now because now, now all, all I know is that Cyclops and Jean Grey are back together. But I don't know if that's like young Jean Grey or. No, I don't know where Phoenix came back from the dead, didn't they? 
we could that we'll, with weapon at Phoenix Force. I don't know. I need to just sort of pick a point. Maybe if X Men, maybe like X Men Golden Blue is a good point to that, and just sort of read from there, as opposed to I just because I don't read like you know I don't I don't read like the start of a, a start like say I'm, I'm reading like say Batman. I don't read like Tom King's run going into someone else's run, even though that's the way they kind of want you to do it. I just kind of read that one run of it because to me, like someone's run or someone's like story arc or the run of a comic is kind of like its own thing. Oh fuck, I keep forgetting the curse can bring them back. Oh god, right here we go. There we go, that's them taken care of, and what's over here? Oh my god, there's so many of these things. Hopefully we've nearly got it. Because I will try and get through as many bits as I can here. Oh boys, you know what's fucking class? I've actually been playing through it on my off time. I say off time, when I'm not streaming. I'm playing through Midnight Suns. What a fucking class wee game that is. It's kind of like a card based XCOM type game. Where you play as like this OC character called... Oh, what are you? What are you? You're like the son of this demon, and you're this. You're like the chosen one, basically. But you're hanging up with the Midnight Suns, which is not exactly Midnight Suns in the comics. Because Midnight Suns was Morbius, Ghost Rider, Man Thing, basically whatever spooky characters are. But it's like Sister Grimm from the Runaways, and I absolutely love the Runaways as well. Uh, magic, they can kind of sort of. Like horror or magic themed superheroes, you know, then like Captain America, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, all the you know the big ones, Doctor Strange and stuff, you know, and of course Spiderman. Oh God, Jean Grey's getting done in. He's my best friend. He's my pal. He's oh my God. Boy. He's my rotten soldier. He's my sweet cheese. My good time boy. Thanks for the subscription, Megan. I got Jean Grey's getting destroyed here. Let's kill that one who try to rev. Or Rez, not Rev. Give another one a wee Rev. We do it. Uh, anyway, let's fucking go, right? Here we go. Just get scalping. Yep, give me two seconds. I'm just trying to scalp these boysies. Right, uh. Oh my god, Jean Grey's about to die. Holy shit. Right, it's the curse that are healing, that are bringing everyone back. You getting hungry? Um, right, there we go, there we go. I think we got everything. Ooh, that was hard. That was actually getting solid there. And now we've unlocked the bit here. We did it. The way is clear to the artifact of the heart. Let's go grab it and return it to the altar of... I can't see because the text is in the way. The altar of the heart. Cool. I mean, what did I do here? Two seconds, boysies. Right boys, how he's doing? My old dad's back, so I had to go help something there. Right, what did I do here? Just get Colossus scalping it. There we go. Destroy the altar in the meditation chamber. Very good thing. Right, who was that? Who leveled up? Colossus. Who's my, who's my top boy? Is it, it's Colossus and Toad. The fucking lads. 
And then Jean Grey is not far behind at level 28, and Iceman's a bit behind, but we'll get that. It was Freeze Beam. That was, a, that was the one that does a shit ton of damage. I wish I could get the... Because the Age of Apocalypse bonus is really good. I just wish I could use it on other ones, because I hate this Iceman costume. It's very... Very 90s, that's kind of what I imagine we would have had in the 90s with the spiky bits. Well, I love like, the classic 90, you know, the classic 60s. Like uh, The big snowman look is very silly. But then again, it's comic books. I love the silly, you know, the silly looks. That's the best. Right, I'm just going to have a wee look. I think that's everyone in the, this chamber. And here we go. I think we've finished the... We've not done the Cerebros. But I'm sure we'll find them as we go. I might pop back and buy some... Uh... Oh, oh, here we go. You know, they begin to sound a lot like Emma. Oh, Jesus. When they spawned in and just... Got us right, uh, and then it's this way, I think. Altar of Soul. By setting the artifact of the Altar of Soul in this altar, you signify a contribution of spirit to our Lord and Master. With the contribution, uh, you grow even closer to becoming the Servant of Apocalypse. Wait, have I not got the Altar of the Soul? I thought I did. Objectives. Altered reality. Find the soul. Ah. It's the mind artifact I've got. Wait, what did I drop off there? I've got that one there. I've got them all apart from the soul one. Cool, right. What I'll do is can't go, can't get through here just yet. Where was the one that I just dropped off there? Was it? It wasn't here. Is it this one? Yeah, chambers. That sounds right. I'm sure I picked up another one today, or was that? I don't know, my, my brain's broken, boys. Right, whereabouts am I going to, so... Got a danger room disc, which is a qualifying exam. God, again, this is as close to the dream game that I'm going to get. I'm, I still really enjoy this game. But again, always talk about it, and pro I probably talked about it every single episode, like every episode of this Let's Play. I was just thinking about that uh, pitch that uh, Cosmo Cosmonaut Marcus did about the X Men social RPG. Like I find, I don't know, I found nowadays with like licensed big, so, like they're wrong. Spider Man was very good. The Avengers was fine. I've got that. Or I bought that before it got delisted and I've got all the DLC and it's fine, you know? And I like Mid Midnight Suns was very different, which I, I kind of want an R really random and different, you know, license game. I don't think it, I don't know if Midnight Suns sold as well as, say, I don't think it sold as well as Spider-Man, for example, you know? Which is a shame because Midnight Suns was really good, very unique as well. Is there maybe an... So I picked that up and that's... The anti-chamber. Right, what's the... What am I looking for? So... Return the mind artifact in the anti-chamber. Oh! And Monica's raiding. How you doing, Monica? How was your... I was actually in, I came in with Michael's raiding bit, but I was uh, lurking because I've set up my own stream. How did your, your puzzle thing go? We're heading to the Sonic Altar and Divine Sanctuary. I'm just going to find where the Divine Sanctuary is. Right, so. 
the vein sanctuary. Oh, get it, fuck you. Right, the vein sanctuary. But all right, boys, these houses are there going. The vein sanctuary, and that's the conclave. I'll head to the conclave and see if I can get through the bit. A lot is pleasant and full of balls. All the balls. What kind of balls were they? And can I show you one of, where did I put this image? If I found it. This, I realise that sounds pretty grim. It's it's to do with an X-Man. I'm trying to find his name. I was talking about weird X-Men last time. I can't find this gift. Two seconds. Let's not give this picture. Where is he? There he is. Let me just get his image the right shape and size. So boys, just so you came in and there was a lot of balls. I want you to meet Gold Balls, everyone's favourite member of the X-Men. We had Spirit Balls, Evil Balls, you name them, we have them. Yes, man. Love a bit of Sanctuary, but only if it's divine. How you doing, Mick? How's your day going? Are you digging into Resident Evil tonight? Marjorie Cloisters. Is this a div Divine Sanctuary? There we go. Yeah, it's going alright, Ta. How's yourself? Ah, yeah, I can't complain in the slightest. Digging into some X Men Legends. So, having a great wee time. How far are you into Resident Evil 2? Kicking off some Claire scenario beat nice. Are you doing like Claire AB? Or, like, are you doing like all the possible playthroughs? Or are you just doing the. Because I believe I done. Oh, I, can't, I think I done Claire A and Leon B. I can't quite remember. But I did it the wrong way around, so it, it felt a bit weird. It was like I had it where Claire was getting chased by Mr. X and Leon was getting chased by Birkin, which made it very. Con no, I think it works better the other way around because obviously, if you've got. We Sherry Birkin way, it makes more sense that she's getting chased around by... Here, let me just scale up this big dog. It makes sense that she's getting chased down by, you know, her big infected da. You seen that right, there we go, so we got hit with slow there, so... Yeah, not gonna happen. Right, where are we heading to? There we go. Yes, man. Quite wee lurk, I'm starving. So I've done I can't I think I can't quite remember I can't quite remember what the order is. It's just like because you get differences in A, A or B. It's not necessarily a wrong right a right or wrong way, it's just I felt that when I did it, because I did it on stream as well, I felt that it made more sense for whoever's you know getting chased by Birkin for it to be the one who's got Sherry, if that makes sense. I mean, that's back, that's back in the day when it was like, you know, they wanted to get, like sell you on the fact that it was all oh, four different playthroughs, even though it's very similar and using quite a lot of similar assets, you know? Like, it's not, like I said, there's not necessarily a right or wrong way to do it. I, still, I fucking loved playing through Resident Evil 2. That makes sense. Birkin's Tyrant, I. Uh, you'll see it's. A bit different. There's two big stalkers in the game. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna say anything further because. But I really enjoy playing because it was my first time actually playing through. A oh, wrong one. Fuck! I used the the buff, so now Colossus can't take damage. Well, that was a waste of dope. And we give everyone a clap. Let's go. This chamber is huge, it's gotta take a lot of searching to find the artifact of the soul in here. We're gonna have to export each of the side, six side chamber. Jesus. And we did it as all the mini cerebro smashed. That's excellent news, dear. Now my girls won't be able to maintain their hold. The victims should soon awaken from their psychic comas. Same here, got that missed them the first time round, but I feel like I appreciate it more as an adult. I say I was I was too scared to play them as a kid. I had a disc which was, like, I, I found in a charity shop 
one of the it was like you know, it was a case but I opened it and it just had uh, Leon A on it so but I, n I never properly played through it I didn't actually get into Resident Evil till a bit later the first Resident Evil I properly got into was uh, oh what's it called was called Veronica it took me a wee bit, like, I knew about Resident Evil but wasn't super into it as much as you know I would be now I can't wear the Alpha Gauntlets, can't wear the Origin Gauntlets, what I'll do, I'll just drop the Alpha ones. Let's just smash this person because they'll just rev, or res, I keep saying rev instead of res. They'll just res all their pals. Because when I was a kid, I was terrified of it. I'm more of a Sand Hill kid, but I can like now, both now because I'm not a stupid wee boy. I think. I, I think I think Santa Hill scared me more because Santa. That's the thing, I will say this now. Resident Evil's not scared. Well, Santa Hill does have stuff that still makes me feel a bit, oh, uncomfortable, you know? Oh, did we find it? That was a random guess. But, I. I've, I've actually. So, I've only. This one might. This one might get really people pissed off. The only Santa Hill I've ever finished is Santa Hill Origins. Even though I own. Silent Hill 2 and 3 on PS2, I own the HD collection, yeah I really need to get my finger out and actually finish them. We found the artifact of Soul, we now have to place it on the proper altar, let's get moving. Right, and where's the portal that will take, take us back? Like I said, I really need to dig into that, because I fucking love uh, the lower Silent Hill, I've... I'll get into it eventually. <laughs> I might just do it because I've been saying that I'm playing through all the Resident Evil games because I've beaten I've beaten one uh, remake of one, uh, one the original two original three fucking Origins Monty fuck I like Silent Hill Origins no perfect but I like it oh no hey the artifact vanished it was a fake well, we're more cautious from now on. Oh wait, I think I've already got the original, so uh not original, I think I've got the normal one. Yes. So yeah, we probably don't need to go get these fakes. You would like it if you I've heard it's where where it gets a bit I'm not saying that's where it gets bad, but I've heard that's when the rot sets in. It could be worse. I've actually got sitting down there and I've got it on Steam so I own Homecoming twice. I could have finished Homecoming and went, oh, that's class, that's the best one. I know people don't like Homecoming. We'll see, I'll I'll get around to playing Silent Hill games eventually. Or worse, I could be like, oh, Book of Memories. That's the one. I suppose starting with the crappy one ones will make ours even better. Like I said, I'll get round to them eventually. Oh, oh are we going to get barred by the Stepford Cuckoos? Oh no, I picked up Alter of the Mind. I see what I did. So there was actually five, but I picked up the one that was away in lot. Emma, we just need to get a portal from the Alter of Mind. This should take us to wherever the Stepford Cuckoos are. I've already discovered on our way in. Uh, I get my, my hands on those ungrateful brats. I'll teach him a thing or two about respect. Respect comes with power. Isn't that what you taught us, Miss Frost? And you, you no longer have the power. Well, if it isn't my little darlings, how brave you all are, but soon you'll regret. No, no, no! Why, Miss Frost, your friends are very close. We do hope they hurry. Perhaps they'll try to save you. <laughs> right, I may do a... Right, I'm, I'm going to head back to the... Oh, Monica's redeemed the body pillow. So, Monica, what's going on in the body pillow? Obviously, you know, nothing TOS breaking. I'm just going to pop back, buy stuff from Forge, do some levelling up, do a save, and then we'll dive into the big fight, because I think this is one of the horsemen. Yourself. Self-love is important. Oh, dear. Right. Now I need to find a... I'm sure I've got that image lying around somewhere. Let's have a look. 
I really should just make a... I've literally just shoved them into my downloads folder. I really should go up my way and try and find an actual, like... Or make a folder for all the... Oh god, there we go. There I am. There we go. No, like a raging egomaniac. But I really need to work my way and actually try and set up a folder for all my like my you know body pillow images, as opposed to just leaving them in a massive fucking mess of a download folder. Right, and Forge was. To be fair, it's the most beautiful pillow redeem. Not got big. Honking anime diddies on it though. Hi again. What can I get you? Like some equipment. Right, so I'm gonna buy some health packs, some energy packs, and I'll sell. Sorry, no credit. Just sell everything that's not. Sell everything that's not like on our main boys. Jean Grey's wearing that one, cool, so just sell that. There's a reason it's my, uh, like, if I get booked now, I'm always like, oh yeah, that's a promo photo to use. Back when I was semi in shape. Right, here we go, save game just before the boss fight with the Stepford Cuckoos. In the comic, I believe, is like. If I remember, it was. The Phoenix Force attacked one time, and Emma Frost split it into three and put it into the Stepford Cuckoos, and that's why they're like. emotionless. But we do have to respect self love, Monica. Self love is very important. Oh, we've not leveled up yet. Um, what have we got? Focus, just get focus all the way up. Luckily if you I'm cooking right now, I can't Photoshop uh, big anime diddies on your pick. Oh, you let me down, Mick. What are you cooking right now, though? What are you having for dinner? Who's this boy? Oh, I think I know who this is. Right, so that's the save. So we're going to fight one of the horsemen. Are these the ones who've angered Apocalypse so much? Yes, I believe they are. Can you imagine how pleased Apocalypse will be when we bring him to heads? Honestly, the most cooking I do now is I use the air fryer for most things. The air fryer is fucking class, boys. What have you done with Emma Frost? Miss Frost? She's gone now. Apocalypse needs her for a rather important experiment. How could you turn your teacher like that? You really believe Miss Frost knows anything of loyalty? <laughs> She'll stay with the X-Men until she grows bored, and then leave just when she's needed most. She does flip-flop a lot between Hellfire Club, Villain, and X-Men quite a lot. Yes, that's a lesson we learned quite well from Miss Frost, at the expense of our sister's life. So, to pay our dear teacher back, we've joined up with Apocalypse. Are you making spaghetti? Oh, like me spaghetti bolognese. Like, again, hot take spaghetti bolognese is good. Not too much tomatoes in it. I'm not. Big, I'm not a big fan of like thick tomatoes. Needs like a nice tomato sauce, a lot of mince, a lot of nice onion, nice bit of salt in it. Oh, the bee's knees class. Anyway, girls, you're making a big mistake. Mickey, have you tried air fried paprika chicken wings? If not, you have a task. Oh, me and Megan went into this. There's a shop in Kirky which is like all locally, pro, you know, locally sourced food, and they have this big fucking jar of like smoked paprika seasoning and oh. I get aroused every time we go in because I'm always tempted just to buy it and just slather over everything. Anyway, girls, you're making a big mistake. No, you have. Let us educate you in the error of your ways. This should be most oh, can only... Uh, oh, mental... Oh, Jean Grey's useless in this fight because they're mental resistant. Oh, it's only one of the cuckoos I can hit. Wait, where's Tongue Lash, whatever it's called? Tongue Strike, there we go. This my person's not the biggest meat fan. Air fried paprika, uh, chicken wing slap. They do sound really nice. 
Chicken wings are like a specific weakness for me. Like they're always at a comfort food, you know. But I think there's a there's a big difference between good chicken wings and shit chicken wings. Right, just get tongue in the Stepford Cuckoos. Dear Jesus. I've got a few. This, this one feels a bit too easy. I imagine this is like a big multi stage boss fight. Right, there we go. That's one. Oh, fuck. This is definitely a big 90s character. A big holocaust. Oh, dear. I think they actually changed his name after his initial run in Age of Apocalypse. <laughs> now you're in for it. Holocaust will show you the true meaning of pain. <laughs> yes, he's a horseman of Apocalypse, and he's our protector. Yeah. Oh no, exactly. I'm just gonna look up because they de I, they definitely changed him. I've definitely seen that character before. Holocaust Marvel. Yeah, he's a he's Apocalypse's son from the. Uh, Asia Apocalypse universe. Yeah, they changed his name to. Where is it? It was. Right, both characters. I know it says both characters, but what? What's his? Anyway, I've, I've, I've looked too much into this. I've... His name is something else. I can't remember what it is. Genocide, of course. Something nice and relaxing as well. Something nice, a lovely wee name. He's a holocaust or genocide. I'm sure he's a good guy. Anyway, let's get this big horseman scalped. Destroy them, holocaust. Worry not, little ones. I will crush these interlopers. And then Apocalypse will resume his conquest of the Earth without restraint. Looks like someone's in for a rude awakening. Both names are quite... I think I pref out of all of them, I think I prefer what you call it. Energy. Okay, we're doing them in. Holocaust, let me help. I can make you invincible. Then we will have our revenge. Oh, so I need to kill the set for cuckoos on top. Ah, I see what I need to do here. Because she makes Holocaust invincible. Did I take her down? Cool. What I'll do is I'll save my ults for that. So Holocaust doesn't have a crazy amount of health. I think I, yeah, I think I prefer him be called genocide, but what do I know? He's still a big bang of like a teenager named him and made him because he, he looks very, Sometimes I forget. very you know edgy and very like it's just very of a time, very nineties because a lot of comics were like that around the time, you know. His name was like Eviscerator, and he, you know, he's not. He's, his power is he has guns. Nineties was not a great time for comics, but it happens that that's. Yeah, the thing is, Age of Apocalypse isn't a great story. That's a hot take. People seem to really like Age of Apocalypse. I, haven't, I never have. But it's weird shit, I guess. Like, right, on top of his name. I think that's a really stupid does he looks so goofy. Like look at the shape of him. But since Age of Apocalypse, you know, in the nineties, you know, carries over. But I think that's the cuckoo's taking care of. I think there's only three of them. I might be wrong about that. Hey, get tongue in the Holocaust. That's it. Oh wait, he eats is Right, you know what? Let's yeah, full energy. Let's see if you can. That I didn't do much damage to him. Holy shit! And freezing him just doesn't work. Oh, we got him! Yes, man, scalped the Holocaust. We've won, Professor Xavier. But Emma's been taken prisoner by Apocalypse. What kind of experiments could uh, he be working on that he needs Emma for? That he needs Emma, Polaris, and Quicksilver. Time is running out. At least the Madrai Temple has been disbanded. When you're ready to leave, use the portal Blink has created. Come and see me when you return. Right, dinner's ready. I'll be back soon. Oh, well, cheers for joining us, Mick. Have a good dinner. Especially because it's some spaghetti bolognese.
though if you put if you put cheese on it, I will disown you because Oh, but Megan does that and it ruins a perfectly lovely bit of spaghetti bolognese. Anyway, weapon X facility, let's go. Yes, man, nay cheese. Enjoy the spaghetti, the single strand of the spaghetti. It's just a bunch of bolognese and a single bit of spaghetti. Yes, man. Right, uh Talk to Professor X, I guess. Good job at the Madrai Temple. It has been completely disbanded. But I have some bad news. What's up? While on a reconnaissance mission of Apocalypse's Tower in New York City, Angel was captured. I do not know his fate, but I can only imagine the worst. Ray, uh... We're done here in Canada. Can we move on? Are you sure you want to leave Canada? I haven't eaten them with our melted cheese. I'll see if I can smuggle some blocks in. I just don't like cheese. Don't like any form of cheese. Never have. Boggin. Megan loves cheese. Cheese whatever in, but I'm just like, yeah, can I do it? Oh! How may I be of assistance? What was that? What of the spy we captured? He has adapted to the genetic splicing even better than hoped. Show him to me. Is this big archangel? Speaking of edgy read it, but that's uh, the edgy read design that I like. No longer applies. What would you have us call you? I am Archangel, a horseman of apocalypse, and I am yours to command. Your speed and strength have been augmented, but what of your soul? My soul is filled with hatred, rage, and death for the X-Men. Yes, man. Super edgy, but I like Archangel. The thing is, though, Archangel worked in the comics because for years, Angel was this light-hearted, rich, snobby kid, you know? But it was like, sometimes Jean Grey's of interest, it was just a sort of, it was a good member of the X-Men, you know? I really liked it. And then suddenly, he loses wings in a random attack. Well, a random mission with the X-Men. Welcome to my home. Or rather, what's left of my home. Apocalypse was quite thorough in its destruction. And basically because he's like, for years, he's like, I was a free spirit. I was able to fly wherever I want. Now he's, because wing, his wings get destroyed. And that's why he turns to Apocalypse. Because he's like, Apocalypse is like, yeah, I can give your wings back. And makes him this edgy, you know, big evil archangel. But the comics, no, comics, the movie Apocalypse just didn't get that. They just had him, a, a angel appear. And straight away, oh yeah, he's archangel now. Doesn't quite work, you know. The professor is oh my god he is fucking jacked holy shit no doubt all of you have heard that angel was recently caught by apocalypse during a scouting mission his fate remains a mystery just doing pull-ups and shit in his chair what a fucking tank jesus christ i can only hope angel takes strength from the fact that our mission in canada was a success the core and the infinite factory were disabled and the madrai temple has been disbanded in light of that, Apocalypse's plans of conquest have been quashed. So why are we here? Shouldn't we be rescuing uh, Quicksilver and Emma Frost? Polaris as well. Just Forgot about that. Lives. We have a greater responsibility to the millions of people in New York City. We must free them from the tyranny of Apocalypse. This isn't going to be easy. Apocalypse military is everywhere. Agreed. But once we've explored New York, we should be able to formulate a plan of attack. For your first missions, talk to Moira or Havoc. Good luck to you. Never skips arm day. Just constantly fucking... Oh, he's massive. Anyway, trivia again. We'll do this for a wee bit. Nick Fury is the leader of S.H.I.E.L.D. Well, hasn't been for years now. Mutant uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. dwellers are known as the, Mor the Morlocks. Uh, what's Wolverine's real name? It's James Howlett. Moira McTaggart's Mutant Research Centre is located in Muir Island on Scotland. On Scotland? In Scotland? I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, he commanded the Howling Commandos. Angel's secondary mutation allows him to... He, he can... So he can turn... Nope, he can't turn his into metal. He can shoot optic beams. Nope, he can't. But he can accelerate his healing factor. The metal wears only comes with... When he becomes Archangel. Banshee's mutant power is to... Generate a sonic scream. 
Bastion assembled which organization? Uh, Department H. No, I didn't. Operation Zero Tolerance. No, I'm getting. It was uh, not Bastion. Bishop was Operation H, I think. Black Queen's real name is. There's been multiple Black Queens. Jean Grey was the Black Queen, and I think Selim was as well. I've got to say Jean Grey, because Jean Grey was the Black Queen in the Hill first run of the Hellfire Club. Not that's Selim. What's the name of the machine Professor X uses to find me around about? Cerebro. Anyway, let's talk to Moira McTaggart. Greetings, X-Man. It's been a while, hasn't it? Hi, Moira. What news have you got for us? To get Apocalypse out of New York City, we'll have to battle him in his tower. But we first have to get into his tower, which, from all indications, is impossible. Come on, Moira. With you, nothing's impossible. Well, there may be a solution. Look up Sebastian Shaw in oh, dear. New York City. If anyone would know how to get into that tower, it'd be him. Any suggestions how we get into the city? There's nowhere we can really take the X-Jet. We'd be shot down in seconds. Quite right. Your best bet for entering New York City undetected would be the sewers. There's an entrance near the mansion. If you'd like more information, use the mission briefing computer by Charles. Right, here we go. We've got to work with the Hellfire Club. Let's get a mission briefing. I'll take a big drink in the meantime. Locating Sebastian Shaw. Yes, man, your dad's got to join the Hellfire Club, which, again, is one of my favourite runs at X-Men. The whole Kitty Pride getting introduced, the Hellfire Club, Wolverine being by himself, are oh, so fuck cool. Before we can hope to defeat Apocalypse, we must first determine how to gain entry to his stronghold. You want us to go inside Apocalypse's tower? <laughs> That's deft. It can't be done. Watch it, Toad. Right, right. I almost forgot. We're one big, happy, dysfunctional family. If I may Toads in all of these? Jesus Christ. They also share my love of Toad. Up the Toad. Shaw's bad news, Professor. He's the head of the Hellfire Club, and they aren't exactly big fans of the X-Men. I understand, Bishop. But it's God, he's fucking massive. Connections that he might know secrets of Apocalypse. Big Xavier's on the gear. And is over for a nice reward. Aye. Somehow, this has got to figure into Destiny's prediction. I used to fancy the fuck out of Rogue, especially in the 90s show. <sighs> All right. So what do you want us to do, Professor? Travel to New York City and find Mr. Shaw. Then see if he has the information we desire and what he would like in return. How about we persuade him the old-fashioned way? Wolverine, ain't you ever gonna learn? You can't solve every problem with your fist. Don't know. I see frog toes. Toad loves getting his toes up. No, there will be no violence against Mr. Shaw. Simply find him and see if we can reach an agreement. Any questions? Then good luck to you. Is toes breaking TOS? Mind that one week. It wasn't even a week, I think it was like three days when Twitch just went, nah. Floodgates are open. And uh, streams went mental. And now suddenly I went, oh fuck, can I be having that? And I've suddenly changed the mind. Just changing up the costumes and gotta get rid of the Age of Apocalypse one because there we go. Uh let's go with let's go with the blue toad. What I like classic Colossus. What is that one? I can't even get a look at his armor. Is he wearing like it looks like a gladiator helmet, but Toss toes. Get your toes out. Yes, man. And we'll go with classic that, that one. I like the Marvel, Marvel Girl costume, but I think I might just go with the... I might go with Dark Phoenix. Because I, like, I like the green and yellow, but the red and yellow goes together really well. Anyway, the lads. That's one thing every super like that's what I loved about the Spider Man game is the amount of fucking costumes that are in it. And that's people fucking love that in superior games, just give them a bunch of costumes, give them a crazy amount of ones and mental ways to unlock them. And I will literally do every single mission in that game to unlock every costume. Especially if I've got more weird and I need to finish my what's my objective? Quick, 
There's not much time. They need us to disable the defense platforms Apocalypse has placed along the coast. Why is that? A group of Sentinels are being sent to pick up New York refugees, but those platforms will destroy anything that flies by. What's prevent Sentinels from attacking uh, us when we're on the platforms? Bolivar Trask himself has put in overrides and blocked their mutant killing programs. They should completely ignore mutants. If you want more info on this mission, use the briefing computer by Professor Xavier. If you really want to thank me, put in a good word with Xavier for me. Wait, what? I thought Havoc was in the X-Men for ages. Anyway. Right, well we go... So there's two different places we can go. We can go deal with... Uh... We can go into the sewers and help. Who are you? Oh, it's Kitty Pride. Hi, handsome. Where the heck have you been hiding? Don't you know I've been missing you? Please, Kitty, let me speak. There are rumors floating around, and I want you to know they are untrue. Oh, Trouble in Paradise. Yeah, for years, Kitty Pride and Colossus were together, and I love that pairing. I absolutely love them. What kind of rumors, Colossus? Oh, yeah. Colossus, what kind of rumors? About me and Scarlet Witch. It is being said that we are an item, but that is not true. During the mission briefing, I commented that she was intelligent and good looking. Now it has snowballed out of control. Where's this one? I'm just looking for this one piece of art that I absolutely love. Uh, remove background. Absolutely love Kitty Pride. Actually, so, I remember I was talking to you about how characters aren't able to grow up. I'll give them that. They do, they've done this with Kitty Pride, where Kitty has actually grown up and as uh, which got has actually led the X Men a couple of times, which again, pretty cool. I like that. That's a that's that one's just fucking. Why can I not get a good image? There we go. It's a cover. Might have to get a cover. There was one that was just bit crushed to fuck, so obviously I can't use that. Couldn't identify the foreground. Anyway, I'll just get I'll just get the image for you. But Colossus and Kitty Pride have been like and I eat them for years. And I just, I just love the pairing. They split they split up in, in com they split them up in comics and then Kitty Pride and uh Star Lord got together, which I kinda liked as well. But again, didn't work out. I think I think her and Colossus got back together as well because that's obviously status quo and stuff, you know. But aye, I like Kitty Pride and Colossus. Shame Kitty Pride's on this game, but again, how would you play around with her ability? You said she was pretty. What were you thinking? Of course, everyone's going to talk about you and her. I was merely paying her a compliment. Please, Kitty, forgive me if I have wronged you. Oh, you know I can't stay mad at you, you big dummy. Sure, all is forgiven. But if I ever catch you even looking at Scarlet Witch, I'll rip out your eyeballs. Got so it? Kitty Bray's like a younger ver a member of the X-Men who, who can... Uh, she can move through walls, basically, and move through solid objects. Yes, I am so relieved things are back to normal. Now, perhaps Magneto will stop talking to me like I was a potential son-in-law. Amy's, who are you? My real name's Kitty Pride, but my code name's Shadow Cat. She goes through a thousand different code names, but Shadow Cat's the only one that sort of stuck around, but everyone knows those Kitty Pride. I can phase through any solid object, which means I can walk through floors and walls. Hey, what are you doing here at the expansion? Helping Dr. McTaggart get prisoners out of New York City. Every so often I make a run in and grab a few people. How's that going? Way too slow. Apocalypse has guards stationed everywhere. It's all I can do to keep from getting captured. Because they had Kitty Pray, like, Wolverine the Goods has these things where he has, like, his fire, like, relationship or something. Like, he had one with Kitty Pray, they had one with Jubilee, had one with Armor, you know, it's kind of cool. And then, obviously, X-23. Uh, thanks for info, Kitty. No problem, next man And they had a Pretty cool one with uh, a young Jean Grey, when the one that came to the time and shit like that. Which I much prefer Wolverine have a fire-like relationship with someone as opposed to Wolverine trying to shag uh, Jean Grey. Never liked that storyline. Never, ever, ever liked it. Especially in Ultimate X-Men when they mentioned that she's young and... Uh, Hello, I trust all is well? 
Everyone's on edge because Destiny's prediction uh, came true that one of us could be a traitor. Her prophecy is rather unnerving, but I wouldn't let it colour our every action. Thank you for this, Xavier. Wait, uh, I think I've talked to Moira. Hello, my friend. It's good to see you again. Jesus Christ, that's such a... Wait, uh, how did I get through this? Thanks for the mission, Moira. Wait, how did I, how did I start this? I need to go into the sewers? Is it maybe the big, the big thing behind Kitty Pride? Maybe. Sewer so south. I will. We'll dive into that first. We'll try and get to Seba uh, Big Sebastian Shaw. Shaw can't I fucking talk. Why is your old dad trying to join the Hellfire Club? Oh god, what's this? Sewer Hunters? I was looking for the AOE attack. Keep it up. Yeah, of course you can. Don't I pass it out to you? Fabulous X Armor of Sense. Oh, we need to get me some fabulous armor. Uh, two seconds, boysies. Two seconds. Right, boys. Sorry about that. We're back now, and Meg has been chucked. Oh. Right now, where are we heading to? Honestly, I can't forget what it was. Oh, it was to get to Spash and Shaw, wasn't it? I was gonna say, oh, this bit's kind of, it sounds it feels a bit easier, but yeah, we've just started, so it might. Might quickly change. So we'll try and get at least. Wait, why are you fighting the Morlocks again? Ah, it's Moan. We're on the same side. Unless Callisto tries to stop us. Look, Home Beacon, but we aren't going. Uh, we aren't able to get to it unless we find some way of shutting down this fan. Help me. We not just put batter it. And isn't the home beacons like? Hmm, are they not like uh, optional? Or maybe it means the home beacons that I, I don't know. Honestly, I wasn't really listening to Moira. Right, you need to. Probably should just let a Colossus take care of all the. Because if they're resistant to energy. There's not much use just blasting them. Might as well just get swinging. Hmm. And speed. Oh god, right, here we go. Here we go. Inhuman chain. Next time we get like a big group of them, I'm just gonna pop the ult. Oh god, Colossus killed that guy. Oh wait, no, it's okay, he's fell in there. Where did I get him? There we go. Right, where are we off to now? I can see how they it only taken them a year to make this game, considering, like, this is just copy and paste from the first game. Again, not complaining. Because this game's such a big, massive jump up from the first one that... If they cut, a, if they cut a couple of corners and just use the same characters, fair enough on yourself. Oh, that means we might see Maru. Fucking oh, oh my God, Colossus! Yep, Colossus killed a guy. Jesus Christ! That's one thing as well. I don't. It's weird. Like I don't want to see my X Men kill, but Wolverine's thing is he's literally got machetes for you know in his fingers. 
you can you can needs to kill, but if you make him the sort of outlier, he's the X-Man that's willing to, you know, go a wee bit further and go do a bit extra, you know? Oh not a bit extra, he's the one that's willing to go. You have no And that's why I think it works it works really well like and moving the X-Men, half of it is he's trabby, just this good teacher to the you know young mutants. But then he's also in the X-Force as a Black Ops team who are going away doing missions that, you know, literally like a mutant death squad. And basically he's doing it on dirt without anyone knowing. I think the only person that knows in moving the X-Men is... Oh god. Is uh, Beast. Like not even Kitty Pride in that knows, I think. And there's a big thing where they get pulled up and they find out he's like, yeah, like, yeah you're still w working at X-Force. And he's like, yep. Anyway, big punch. Yes, man. I completely forgot my boy Colossus was also in uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance as part of the DLC. So we're definitely protected by minions. Scale up his minions first. So we're definitely just main the fuck out of Colossus in that game. So I don't know Hulk's in that, and I love me Hulk. Like, see, apart from like, I'm trying to think. Of, like, Hulk's definitely one of my favorites. See the Immortal Hulk run. Fucking adored that run. That was one of my favorite runs of comics in recent memory. But here we go. Here we go, boozies. But do I like Hope more like the X-Men? I don't know. The thing is, I like the X-Men overall. I, like, they're my favourite team. But I'm trying to use my favourite... Who's my favourite single, like, superhero? Sweet I don't know. I, I like... I like Ant-Man. I like Hulk. I like... A lot of Marvel stuff. I'm more mar into Marvel than I am DC. Which I think... Nightwing's probably my favourite like DC character. I fucking adore Nightwing. Or Dick Grayson, Grayson, whatever he goes by. Loved when it, they had him being Batman. That was such a good run. Oh, hello, who's this? Big fucking Dominatrix. Morlock Outsider. And it's just a massive jacked woman. They don't have to get my attention. Big muscle mommy, oh. Oh god, wait. Oh wait, so Phoenix can make a fucking turret now? That's kinda cool. If I want to talk with so much love about something. Oh, I've got plenty of love for it and plenty, <laughs> plenty of dislike for it. A lot of stuff I dislike about comics and a lot of stuff, but I try to always try and be positive. And so, like, I've always, like, Complex were always my thing, like, even when I was younger, like, I used to, in high school, right, right, don't shout at me, mom, mom, I already told my mom about this a wee while ago, and she, uh, I used to not buy lunch, so I would get two quid a day for lunch, but what I'd do is I would take the two quid and I would go down to, like, the school I went to had a shopping area beside it, so I went down to the shopping area, and in a wee arcade area, like, down, like, it was upstairs, at back, tucked at the back, there was a wee, old comic book shop and they would go in and they had like bins for like a pound you know it was like a pound a comic and i'd go in and buy two comics and oh it was class one of my f that was one of my favorite things about school it wasn't actually school it was buying the comics and then going skipping the last two classes of school and just sitting reading comics it was incredible apocalypse sure was thorough attack this place looks like a war zone all i have to do is track down Sebastian and sean uh get him to tell us how to get into apocalypse's tower shaw's cold-blooded ruthless and a bitter enemy of the X-Men. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what's going to take to make him talk. Mm, this is too heavy for me. Attack. But yeah, I told my mum about that and she was raging. I was like, mum, it was literally almost 20 years ago. And she's like, I know, but you shouldn't have done that. And I was like, yeah, mum, 20 years ago. Like, that's when I discovered things like, that's when I started reading uh, Claremont's Run the X-Men. That's when I started reading a lot of 
like just random ones that caught my eye, you know, like even superheroes that weren't like heroes that weren't great, like I mean reading a DC hero called Mad Dog or what no Wild Dog, sorry. It was kinda like they seen the Punisher and thought, Oh we can do that and it didn't you know, didn't happen. Things like Human Fly, a lot of Teen Titans, I read a lot of Teen Titans during that time and fucking love Teen Titans. What other runs did I read during that time that I really, really liked? And like I said, with my pocket money, I was still buying the sort of Panini uh, reprints. So that was around the time of like Schism, uh, Schism, Civil War, New Avengers, that sort of stuff. Oh, and here we go, and there's never really been a moment where, it's kind of wrestling, like, usually some people went, go through periods where they don't read comics, so they don't, you know, they don't watch wrestling, that no, was never that for me, I was just constantly, alright, Shaw just standing out here, King of the Hellfire Club just having, just standing in war-torn New York, but here we go. Don't move a muscle, unless you want to discover which of you has the best mutant healing powers. Sebastian Shaw, we've been looking for you. <laughs> No doubt you want information like Angel used to. A pity he was captured by Apocalypse. Can you tell us what's inside Apocalypse's tower and how do we get inside it? Well, my friends, you've come at a most opportune time. I'm being forced to vacate town as soon as possible. But before I go, I need tech bits, a hollow disk, and my master key. Get me those items and I'll tell you anything you want to know. Where are we going to get tech bits? How should I bloody know? I have stashes all over New York. Maybe you can locate those. Where there are two items. The whole desk is somewhere in the west side of New York where my master key's on the south side. Once you have those items, meet me back at the X Mansion. How do you know we're at the X Mansion? It's my business to know everything. We'll see you back at the expansion. You're bloody right you will. Later, mates. So Sebastian Shaw is played by in first class. Played really well by Craven Bacon. I fucking love X-Men First Class. It's my joint second favourite X-Men movie. It's so good. It's got quite possibly the coolest scene in the entire franchise, which is Magneto hunting the Nazis. Anytime Nazis get stabbed, it's class. Oh, I meant to say it's Colossus. His master, yeah, master strikes in my discus shot. Oh yeah, 100% facts. And even, I like Days of Future Past as well, I thought it was good, but then yeah, I just, everything after that that's not called Logan is dog shit. Actually, that's a lie. The TV show Legion was class. I never watched, uh, what was the, the, the Gifted, I think it was called, which was, I might be like, young members of the X-Men that were on the run from the law. Never watched that. Heard good things about it, but never got around to it. It came out at a time where I was almost working like full time hours and shit, you know, so didn't have as much time for, you know, TV or sh TV or fucking like any other stuff, you know. Right, here we go. Let's go for the big guy first. Run with the pop up. Get him scalped. But I'm really oh. Oh no, he just fell down here. I'm really looking forward to digging into Ultimate Alliance. Ultimate Alliance has, like, while I'm saying this one's really cool for, like, the weird characters to pop up, Ultimate Alliance is really cool for that, like, you have a boss fight with, like, the Executioner or whatever, it's re it, it focuses on just getting as many weird bosses in with as many, like, so fucking cool. It's, my, it's probably my second favourite out of these games. And between X Men Legends 2 and uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Not played Ultimate Alliance 3, I might get around to that eventually. Ultimate Alliance 2 is alright, it's more action based. 
It's more action than RPG. I think, in fact, this RPG elements are completely gone, basically. Going with small work, uh, parties to help it work. Oh, well, best of luck with that. But uh, cheers for joining us, Monica, and thanks for the raid. Jean Grey's having a bad time down there. And then do a big jump up here. If you think about it, fucking Ultimate Alliance came out, oh, I will say maybe about a year later. It's ridiculous how quickly they made these games. Get all these boys scalped. My god, Colossus is just deleting these boys. I can one shot them with a big backhand. I require more energy for that. Oh, get get another extreme ability. Oh, he went right under the backhand. Yes, man, there we go. Nano gear of precision. What's this? Take master key. Right, so we'll find the master key. Yeah, I'm even cooler now. West side. Go up the hand symbols because you know. That's the whitest thing I've ever done, and I'm pretty fucking white. As you can see by my PNG trooper here. Oh fuck, the brood. Again, I feel the brood could have... Actually, they've done a pretty good story with them. It was like an alternate universe story. I think it was Marvel Zombies Resurrection. And they basically done it. The, it was like, what if zombies, you know, attacked the Marvel Universe? And it, it was like an alternate universe where it, I think the Avengers get a call from it's a call from space, and they go up, and the Guardians of the Galaxy appear, but they're all like zombified and shit. And then all basically all the Avengers get infected, and it ends up it's the Brood, like that are sort of infecting them and stuff, and it's really fucking good. And it's like it's set far in the future, and it's like Spider-Man who's like all broken down and on the run. Teams up with, I believe, Hawkeye. I can't remember who else, but yeah, it's really because I didn't like the first run of Marvel Zombies. I think it's just edgy and shite. Which thing, because I, I can I tend to like Robert Kirkman's stuff, but I didn't like Marvel Zombies. I don't know why I, just I don't like seeing superheroes that I love. Like the whole thing came out of a joke of going, huh, "What if Zombie uh, Peter Parker eating Aunt May and uh, Mary Jane?" Which I didn't like. Like, you can show me your superheroes uh, fighting against a zombie plague. I like that idea. But when it's just, you know, edgy joke after edgy joke, not a big fan. But I like the covers, though. The covers were really cool. I feel like uh, you could do a lot more with it, and Marvel Zombies Resurrection kind of was what you could do with it. Hell, I even like the, the What If episode a lot better. I thought the What If episode was pretty good, even though I wasn't a massive fan of the What If show. In fact, I'm looking at the second season and I'm like, oh, this looks really bad. Especially, right, so What If was always weird in the comics. It was They'd done a line and it was like, it was basically, what if this big choice happened? What if this big, and it was, they were always weird. And it was, some of them were either, was that a really good meh or really shit? Like, they had a cool one where it was like, what if... It, Take infinite uniforms. What's this? Infinite uniforms? These will come in handy. And it was what if the Venom symbiote went to Punisher as opposed to Spider Man? I thought it was a really cool story, you know? That's one of my favourites as well. Well, what ones are good? A lot of them were just kind of meh. There was this one, was like, what if the Avengers quit in the first day and then it's. Ends with Iron Man trying to build his own sort of Avengers, literally build them with suits of armor and stuff. And that one's pretty good. The early ones I tend to find prefer, but the new ones look. But the new episodes of the show look pretty bad. Oh, hey, pal, how you doing? Hey, we're on the north side. Where? What are we getting at the north side? Hey, uh, Slytheon, how you doing? Or, sorry, is it S1 Heon? Heon? I apologise for, for my pronunciation. How you doing, pal? 
Anyway, wait, so I'm looking for... Pay him 10, I can pay that. We're heading to the west side. The west side, there we go. Right, what am I looking for exactly? Because all I need to do is... I think I'm... Oh! If we switch into these infinite uniforms, then we should be able to get to that scanner. Because I think that's us done in New York after this, because then we can just talk to Sebastian Shaw. Because we don't really have to save up and get tech bits, do we? Right, pal. Take holodisc. What do you think you're doing with that holodisc? This is a surprise inspection. A surprise inspection? Why? We've been sent by Mr. Sinister to make sure all security stations are combat ready. He's never done that before. What's your identification code? Uh, one. What do you think you're doing with that holodisc? We're taking it to Apocalypse. Apocalypse has already been informed of the disc. He wasn't interested in seeing it. He's changed his mind. Apocalypse changed his mind? That'd be a first. What are you really doing here? What do you think you're doing? No, listen. It, no, it's no use. Let's see what we're going to have to figure out this. I actually need a pop up attack. So, XX circle. I'm fucking getting done in. Right, X, X, circle, there we go. Yes, man. This is very good thing. Right, I think we kind of just need to go back to the blink portal. Let's head back to the mansion. We've got the master key, we've got the hollow disc, and we're going to give him 10k credits. Pardon me. Oh look, he's having a wee camp. Ah, here we are. The tech bits, the hollow disc, and my master key. All is in order. Alright, Shaw, sure. we kept our part of the deal. Now you keep yours. My my, you can be forceful when you want to. Here, take the master key. It's all you'll need to enter the tower. You'll find an entrance to the North Sewers in Manhattan. This key opens that entrance. From there, it's just a matter of following the sewers to the Tower of Apocalypse. If you do make it into the tower, would you do me the favor of freeing the Black Queen? I think she's being kept prisoner there. Knowing her, she was trying to make a deal with Apocalypse. That Selene is a woman after my own heart. Always playing both sides against the middle. <laughs> there you go. Cheers, Sebastian. As long as there's a profit to be made, I'm glad to be of service, X-Man. Oh, he said that with some venom in his voice. Right, uh Well we go to Havoc's mission now where we need to go take him down. Okay, let's go do that. Take us to the perimeter platforms. Are you sure you want to go to the platforms? Yes. Because we can always come back and go between the New York mission, yeah. You know? Oh, this place looks scary. Good luck, guys. I'm getting out of here. There's way too many anti-aircraft guns on these platforms. Thank you, Havoc. You braved a great deal to get the team to the landing zone. And because the platforms are much more heavily fortified than first believed, I've requested the aid of S.H.I.E.L.D. They can better secure the structures once the defenses are down. Plus, they have a more thorough reconnaissance of the area. And with that, I hand control of this mission over to Colonel Nick Fury. Oh, it's your boy. Is it Big David Hasselhoff? Oh, no, it's Sam Jackson one. The better, Nick Fury. Fought with, but lives are on the line, so there's no time for egos right now. 
At this very moment, a team of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents are on their way to your location. It is imperative that you destroy the anti-aircraft guns before my men arrive. If you don't, they'll be shot out of the sky. Time is the enemy here. Move fast, Fury out. They are so lucky that he, uh, Sam Jackson just wanted to play him. Anti-aircraft guns are almost indestructible. The only way you're going to hurt them is by destroying the generator that powers them. Because in the Ultimates, they were just like, oh, who will we base him off? Oh, we'll just draw. We, no, we won't base him off him. We'll literally draw him at, at, at Sam Jackson, you know? They got so lucky he agreed to. He was cool with that. And they also agreed to play him in the movies. So lucky. So I'm going to try and get through this mission as quick as possible. Doesn't need to destroy all the guns in the main platform. Hey, that's no sentinel voice. No, it is I, Bastion, the architect of your destruction. Prepare to meet me on the field of battle. I will prove you are weak and unworthy. Bastion's like the head of the sentinels, so oh boy. I can't remember if he's like a mutated sentinel, it's like not mutated, but he's like I can't freeze an AI or if he's a guy that runs it. Again, it depends on who's writing. But they said they were gonna be on our side. They lied. Oh no. I remember being so disappointed as a kid when uh, I was watching X Men 3 or X Men Last Stand and uh, the Sentinel was only in the opening for a split second because I love the Sentinels. I think it's a. Well, I think it's a, they're a really cool storyline that you could do. Like. Oh, they were actually the first X-Men bad guys I remember, because the first X-Men thing I remember uh, was a storybook of... Look at that, maybe it'll help us destroy platform defences. Danger. Danger. System override in progress. Override complete. Original programming reinitialized. Destroy all mutant life forms. Watch out, team. Someone or something is resetting the Sentinels to their original programming. Defend yourselves. There we go. Absolutely scalped. Considering in the last game they were like impossibly hard. But anyway, so the, yeah, the first X Men story I remember reading, I was maybe like three or four, was or maybe even three, maybe that young, and I got this. It was like a, book, it was like a learn to read book, but it was the first episode of the or the first set of episodes of the X Men, uh, you know, TV show. Like the animated one, which was called Night of the Sentinels. I'm just gonna destroy these, otherwise I'm up oh, not or I'm just gonna get away from them. Let's just get away from them and just scalp this. That means more sentinels can land and then oh. Also you just have a toy of them. It was this big fucking it was this big toy. I say big toy, it was probably small by like, nowadays standards. Or, you know, like, or, you know, I don't make his standards, but it was like a, it sent like a bunch of different things you could do on it, a bunch of different buttons, and oh, it was, I thought it was the coolest shit as a kid. Uh, I've glitched out Sentinels, uh, but anyway, we'll move on. Like saying that, I thought they worked really well in Days of Future Past because they made them these big end of the world level threats, you know? I always find it weird how... So, and... I find it really weird how... Because X-Men have always felt like their own thing. Like, maybe a Spider-Man, you know? But the fact that... Sentinels exist... Yeah, Captain America is, like, preaching that this is the land of the free and all that and meant to make America sound amazing. But in the same comic universe, the government's sending out, you know... Sentinels, use teleport console. Oh, I head to the radar array. That's one thing I find really strange about it, you know? Oh, there we are. Team, meet Sergeant Charles Kilroy. Yeah, so I'm big Kilroy, my boy. 
Oh no, is this a escort mission? Thanks, Colonel Fury. If it weren't for that high-tech scuba gear, I never would have made it here alive. You're the only man who could have done it, Kilroy. Now make me proud, son, and take out those radar rays. Why not send in someone like Quake? And Quake might not have been like, as big a character yet, but just put in a superior as a wee sort of cameo here. Yes, sir. All right, team, lead the way. Can't wait for Big Charlie Kilroy to be in the in the MCU. There's a radar array. It's gonna take a little while to set the charge, so keep me alive long enough to do it. Don't let me die just yet. Surrender, mutant. Alright, cool. Let's just scalp the sentinels first. I, am I love the big purple and uh, pink look of the sentinels. That's one thing I was... As much as I'm saying I like the designs, I, I like them in Days of Future Past, I kind of wish they just had the classic sort of purple and pink design, you know? So if anyone's ever played Marvel vs. Capcom, I find it mental how different they are in that game. They look just like... They just look like giant robots, you know, they don't look like Sentinels per se. You know, Sentinels also, uh, in the original Marvel vs. Capcom, was objectively the best character in the game. That's one thing that was mental about a game like... Balance? Who needs balance? I think I fucking love uh, Marvelous Capcom, specifically Ultimate Marvelous Capcom 3 and Marvelous Capcom 2. So fucking good, boys. Specifically, which got. Uh, which got X Men Children of Atom as well as Class. Oh! Bunch of clone Charlies have just appeared. So, do we need to move on to the next one? Oscar, they're just de deleting the fucking... Oh wait, no, it doesn't mean next one there, it means... Let's just try and get as much XP as I can here. I, mean, I guess you could just grind out infinite XP here. Also, check the arson the sentinels. I remember in... Oh wait, Iceman's getting done, holy shit. I remember there's a story called Amalgam, which is when X-Men, I know X-Men, when Marvel and DC combined, like, they done a crossover. And then in specifically after the crossover, they had a series of comics, which were like, it was the heroes sort of combined. And it was in the Amalgam universe. I can't remember who it was. Was it Jostica that was a Sentinel? I'll look it up in a second. But yeah, you had Wolverine cross... It was like Logan Wayne, who was Wolverine cross, crossed over with Batman, who became Dark Claw. I've actually got one of them. I've got quite a few of them album comics. I've got Super... Oh, Spider-Boy, which is Super... Uh, Superboy mixed with Spider-Man. Oh god, right. Just get punched in here. And I think I've got one of the... What, what, I've got Bruce Wayne Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. somewhere as well, I think. Scanners have located mutant DNA. Like, not all... They weren't all great comics, but it was mostly just like... Let's get, you know... Let's combine two of them, and it was, that was most of the gimmick of them, you know? But some people liked them. Same with things like Marvel Mangaverse. I've got a bunch of them that I kind of liked, you know? Marvel Mangaverse was really strange. It was just like, right, let's do a mar like a manga iteration of these ones. Like, the Fantastic Four were like a Voltron team. Spider-Man was a member of like a... Was it a ninja or a samurai? It was a ninja clan, that was it. And Venom was like the... I, was he his older brother? I couldn't remember. Surrender, mutant. <laughs> well, isn't that a pretty sight? Well done, Sergeant, and good job, team. Shield agents will now secure the platform. You're free to move on to the next radar ray. Oh god, how many more are there? Because I, I don't think what's his name's gonna survive. Cease all mutant activity. Uh, there is 
Hopefully the AI just teleport behind me because can't really be fucked waiting for them to come all the way here. Wait, where is he? Where's big uh, Charlie Kilroy? How could I forget Charlie Kilroy? Where is he? Hey pal, is that you? Oh god, is that him there? Right, where's Freeze Beam? Right, Charlie, come on! Big Charlie's no catching up with us. Right, I'm just gonna walk here and then hopefully he'll teleport up towards us. Oh wait, who's that? Is that a bunch of Deadpools? This is the last one, team. We can do this. Let's go. Oh! Colonel Fury, Sergeant Kerwell was just killed in the explosion. Then you're going to have to assume his mission. Take out the last radar array. How do we do that? Who are these boysies? Oh my god, they're Levi Le Leviathons. Oh, so this one just freezes everyone. Must finish your objective before moving up. Cool. At least I don't have to worry about looking after anyone now. Happy about that. Well done team, with the security analog down, you can now deactivate the radar shielding console. Go to the radar array and use the console there. Cool, right, time to just... Okay team, oh, voice acting now. So I'm just looking up a mal gam. I'm seeing if, if I'm right, but yeah, she's a sentinel. Can I get a? No, it's not. It's not a good photo of her. I think I was gonna get her on the on the body pillow, but nah, I don't think that's working. Because she's like a. Maybe I put in Fem Sen No Marvel. Oh, it's Fem Bastion. Not the sort of, not the one at the look I was looking for. There's Master Mold it and all that. Oh, I've forgotten there's a female sentinel in which got that fighting game. Oh, what's it called? Dim not Dimension X. It's a dead or alive uh, sort of rip off. Dim is it Dimension X or whatever it's called anyway? Because I fucking loved that game when I played it as a kid. It's n I'm not going to lie and say it's the deepest fighting game. It's close to a sequel to... I, I don't know if it's technically a sequel to the same, like, the same guys. But I love X Men Mutant Academy too. If it's the same guys, that's class. You know what? Fuck! I'm gonna download that and play that after the stream for a little bit. Watch, well, I'm going to the gym after stream, and then after that, I might do. Oh no! I did. Oh, I need to do it in time. Cool. But at least I've taken down the Sentinel, so I can just sort of. I've got 20 seconds, cool. This me thought I was going to get a game over, boysies. There we go. We did it, Colonel Fury. That's the last of the radar arrays. 
agree to rescue the refugees. I'm, I'm trying to find that Sent Sentinel Marvel toy. I'm trying to find that exact one that I had as a kid. It's not the Marvel Legends figure. It looks kind of similar, but... Found the exact one. 14 inch Toy Biz 1994. I think Toy Biz done all of Marvel's uh, toys in that sort of era. Actually, I think Toy Biz actually bought Marvel, but I might be talking shite about that. Or other way around. But this is the figure I had. Fucking love that figure. Basically, if you. Yeah, you can see he has like a button. The button on the side, his whole hand would pop off. He had the claw. His chest plate would pop off. He has two buttons on his knees. One popped off the front of his shoe. Which shoe is like his boot. And the other one, I can't remember what the other one did. But yeah, it was meant to be like battle damage. So like, you had a Wolverine toy and it would be like, bah, 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 and it would make it look like Wolverine's hurting it. Oh, it was cool as fuck. I really like that figure. Also, you might be happy to hear we just fished Sergeant Kilroy out of the ocean. He's a little singed from having been thrown into the water during the explosion. But other than that, he's fine. It's been a pleasure working with you. This is Colonel Nick Fury, signing off. Let me just kill a Sentinel Mark III. You know what, if I was doing that X-Men movie myself... Right, so say Marvel comes to me. Don't know why they would, but say they come to me. And they go, they go right, Mikey. We're doing a more uh, X-Men movie. We don't have to worry about continuity. It's a new X-Men movie. I've literally had got a wee... I, I was bored during work one day and I, I wrote up wee movie pictures on my phone, just that sort of thing. And I written up, it'd be... And it was like X-Men Children of the Atom. We'd do it. Sentinel's a main bad guy and the whole thing's about a young mutant and he coming into this and then... Oh, we'll get a fight Bastion? Yes, man. And then him torn between, you know, the Brotherhood and the X-Men. And Sentinels are in there, you know? Because I feel there's, it's just going to get tied up by the whole fucking... It's going to be a state if you try and tie in. Well, there he is. Big Bastion himself. Too long you mutants have taken advantage of humanity's kindness. And for too long I've sat by and done nothing while you schemed and plotted like cowardly assassins. But my time of silence is over. I must take action and destroy each and every one of your misbegotten kind. Do not speak, mutant. The mere sound of your voice causes me pain. That's it. The pain you feel must be... Uh, uh, excuse me. That's it. The pain you feel must be caused by some kind of mind control. Mrs. Sinister has somehow affected you. I'm not under any type of control. I know what I'm doing. Mutants are an aberration. A mistake of nature. I've made it my life's work to correct this mistake and erase it forever. Your pestilence has threatened to choke off the flower of mankind long enough. With my help, humanity will once again flourish and grow on the broken husks of your bodies. But Bastion, we're here to help save humans. I'll hear no more of your lies, mutant. Let us battle so that I can put an end to you. Oh, that's a shit ton of sentinels. Ah, push it. Could have done more damage. Well, I guess that one's more AoE. But my spinning shot does about as much damage as my witch cutter one did. Holy shit, Jean Grey needs health. But there's no time. I can just keep spinning and just keep clocking them with a discus shot. Okay, nearly there, nearly there, come on, come on, Sike, come on. There we go, we did it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Colossus is so OP, holy shit. We start off working with the Brotherhood and now they're helping Sentinels. Next Senator Kelly will be inviting us to lunch. Oh, cheers, Forge. It would Bastion drop. Scarlet Witch's hammer. Nah. 
Right, so that's what's finished here. Let's have a wee gander, see what we've gauntlets. I shall pick up gauntlets. Anything else here that I've... That I may have forgotten to pick up? Eh, yeah, fuck it, I'll just blink portal back to the X-Mansion. And then talk to Havoc, and then that's us finished with the... With Havoc side quest. Absolutely fucking skilled Bastion. Booted him right in his wee cybernetic boss. Just decided to focus on him as opposed to try to take on a thousand things at once, you know? Hey, you did it! You took out the platforms, and because of that, all the New York refugees were airlifted to safety by Sentinels. You do realize the Sentinels tried to kill us, don't you? Who could have known that Bastion was under the control of Apocalypse? Without his help, the Sentinels never would have been reprogrammed to attack you. I guess you're right. At least the refugees are safe. If you really want to thank me... Right, I know, I know, I know. I'll do a wee save first. And then level up, and then we'll head out to... into the sewers. Right, and... Deets, uh... So that's everyone leveled up. You know what, let's play around with a... Oh no, I need to be at a... I need to be here and change team. Let's play around with the costumes a little bit. Let's change it up. Right, what do we feel like? Nah, naked Iceman. Iceman toes. Nope, nobody likes the Iceman toes. Uh, normal, uh, not a big fan of that one. I don't like edgy Iceman, so we'll, check, we'll stick with Snowman. I like classic Colossus. Let's go with... Let's go with Marvel Girl for now. Like, original fucking... And we'll go with Black Toad. Or the Black Costume Toad. Right, here we go. Here we go, boysies. Oh, actually, I don't... Do. I don't like that face image of Jean Grey. Yeah, well, I've had Iceman for a bit. Will we change Iceman out? Fuck it, let's change Iceman out. Who will we... Who will we get in? Rogue. Yeah, all of Rogue's costumes are okay. I'm not... We'll get Storm in for a while. Storm. There's like Classic Storm. Not a big fan of them. Our default one's probably our best one in my opinion. We'll get Storm in. What about Sun? We've not had Sunfire in yet, have we? Or... we we'll had Gambit in. Get, ah, fuck, let's get Nightcrawler, cool. my boy. Let's just auto level up. Um, what can we give him? Gloves of Defense. Nothing they can really have there. Show him what for. Yeah, we'll get Nightcrawler. Everyone's boy. I forgot to change the costume, didn't I? The whole point I went into that was to change the costume for Jean Grey. No 90s costume. I know, it makes me sad. We'll go, yeah, we'll go with... We were with Dark Phoenix, weren't we? So we'll go with... Normal Phoenix. Nah, this will be fun. And we'll do another save, and then we'll head on head on out. Right, 
Right, and into the sewers. Because of course I feel more at home there. Into the sewers, right? Oh, new area of sewers. Oh, I wonder if we see Maro. I fucking love Maro. Maro's one of my favourite X-Men, who again, got featured quite a lot in the 2000s, about early 2000s. So much so she was uh, my main at Marvel's Capcom 2. Fucking loved Maro. And then post, uh, about, then she made her member the Morlocks, and since then she's kind of just been not doing much, you know. Like the most she's got in recent years was she cameoed in Deadpool. That was it. As you wish. Get him! Get him! What's that? What about these kind of divine blades? Wonder what my ult is. Do I like tele Do I go around teleporting like hitting everyone? That'd be kind of cool. Really He's got to disappear and act and. Master of Chaos. I think Nightcrawler might be in Ultimate Alliance well, because I think they and a DLC which was just the X-Men. Oh oh god, wait, that one's I need, I need to make that one vulnerable first. What was that? Circle X, circle, circle. There we go, got it. Place nano gear. Ow. Ow. Well, uh, man, Nightcrawler, so much fun. I love Wee Kurt, my boy. Seen that? I, I, I shut the pop ups, but see the wee guy that played him. I thought he was class. Oh, hey, Monica, how you doing, pal? I was like, see the young uh, X Men they made interesting uh, X Men pop-ups? I thought they were cool. Like, I really like them, especially like Jubilee, Nightcrawler, and all that. But, yeah, they didn't really do much with them, especially in fucking Dark Phoenix. That movie was dog shit. So I'm now crawling a bit of sewers, because obviously that's, you know, where Mikey feels the most confident is in a sewer. Oh. Right, let's get this guy before he drains everyone else's EP. And his ult's fine, it's not it's not Colossus. Colossus demolish is amazing. My partner uh my partner's manager gave him a complicated task with XL. Ooh. Uh, he's not very confident with it, so I jumped in to help. Ah. On yourself, I'm useless with XL. I had to do a spreadsheet for work, like one thing for work, literally nothing fancy, just fill it in and it take me forever, I was useless. Excel's a spreadsheet one, isn't it? I'm just not talking shit. Well, I remember when I, when I was younger, I had like, I had this small period where I was like, I wanted to do, when I was in high school, I was like, okay, well, I can make games and I'd done programming, which was, I had True Basic change my mind quickly there but also remember having to do like it, like programming in excel Be gone from our sewers. and i hated that i was useless at it you know i i adore it however i was still learning it I, when I, still, I was still learning it i hate it so much i right, something i think once you get used to it's piss easy but it's very intimidating when you first get into it you know oh you're resin your pals not for much longer so I've just popped an ult on top of you. Yes, man. Oh, big one's up. No, big one's not. It's just a wee one. Who lived up there? Was that Nightcrawler? Let's just get this one scalped. What time on? We're about two hours, so we're probably only going to go for another... Oh, you know how much it can do it, can it? It's I. Oh, and our muscle mummy. We're probably only gonna go for another like 15, 20 minutes. Like, probably 15 minutes. Because I will try and get off to the gym. 
and stuff like that tonight. Because I meant to go this morning, but as soon as I woke up, I had another fucking migraine. Which is not a good thing, because I don't regularly get migraines, but see when I do get them. Ooh, mammy. Oh, they're bad. Like, I was literally just lying down for the first uh, couple of hours of today. Lying down with a heat pad on my head, listening to speedrun cheating videos. Or videos about how people got caught, you know, cheating in speedrun. As you wish. New York's, is it south side I'm heading to? Oh, I found a, a new workaround for migraines. Oh, how does it work for you? What's your workaround? Right. Is this where I'm going? Objectives. The New York North Side. Take one aspirin alongside your preferred painkiller. Magic. Oh, I'll give that a try next time. The thing is, I don't get them regularly. But I get them, it's... Because there was maybe, like, I got them really bad in the middle of COVID. Like, like I couldn't move. Uh, bad. Then I didn't get them for quite a while. And it's only, I've had like two in the last couple of months. Like I said, sometimes I, there can be apps, sometimes they might be just a wee sort of headache, and then other times I'll be, I won't be able to look at light, I won't be able to fucking do it, and I'll be able to feel my teeth, which sounds weird, but like, it's really strange. Sorry, my Wait, where am I heading to? Is it north side, the New York north side? Where am I now? I think I'm on the south side. New York, south, ah, that's the only one I've got. Just uh, teleport on top of them and... Right, here we go, here we go. God, Nightcrawl's getting stuck in the geometry. Right, what's he weak to pop up? There we go, get that ghost fucking scalped. There we go. This ult's pretty good. I'm pretty sure it'll get better once you sort of, we sort of level him up a bit, because he is a bit... He's a bit on the underpowered side now. Anyway, let's, let's change the toad. So I've got my energy damage for coming from Jean Grey. I've got Toad and Nightcrawler being like DPS, I guess. And we've got Colossus being a tank. Oh, that's a fairly balanced party. Just get Dark Raven tongued. Right, so I'm, where am I heading to again? I'm on the south side of my head into the. Excuse me. Into the north side, what I'll do is I'll get to... I'll actually get to uh, Apocalypse's tower, and we'll call it a day there. There we go, boysies. So I don't actually know how much of the game's left. I think I'll maybe, like, I don't think I'll finish it next stream. Because if we're on Act 4, I don't know, I might finish it next, uh, well not next stream, I might, it depends on how long Act 5 is as well and how far I've got into Act 4. Because knowing me it could be very short and I've just flown through it, but I don't know, going by the levels I think it's going to be, I think 40s maybe max level. Anyway, New York West Side. We're heading up up to the north. Right here here we go. 
So I've been here, so we're heading to the north side. I can just go Jean Grey, I can probably fly through. Defend yourself. Just fly past them, we're fine. Oh, that's the end of the map that way, so... What's that, Survival 404? <laughs> Again, just give me an X-Men game where you're actually a student in the X-Mansion. It's all I want, boys. All I want in life. Well, it's a lie, but one of the things I want in life. North side, there we go. Right, here we go, here we go. We'll do a... We level up for everyone. I'll just drop back because I don't think I'm going to be using Storm. I can get the Origin Gauntlets now or the Xenox Bracer. Let's get that and... I'll chuck the Phoenix Coat. There we go, get everyone a wee level up. Right, secret- oh god. If I was a secret entrance, where would I be? Mental resistant, right, uh... Just get clubbing away at him. Fuck me, this guy's got more health than Bastion did, holy shit. I probably didn't need to use a use an ult just take down two guys, but I really couldn't be fucked fighting this guy again. Just oh, gauntlets! Oh, he teleported. He's radiated, so there we go. I'm taken care of. Can't go underground. What's your thing? Health regen. Soldier of fortune. He's regenerating pretty quickly. Maybe I can. There we go. Big discus clothesline or big discus lariat. Oh, why did I give Colossus tech upgrades? Why did I do that? I just seen it and grabbed it. I mean, he needs energy too so he can hit all the big special moves, but it'd be better giving it to Jean Grey, I think. Right, where, there's a wee thing here. Oh, it's through there. Cool. Right, secret. Down this way, maybe. I mean, there's a lot of boysies. Right, what's a secret entrance look like? If I was trying to hide an entrance from... Oh god! Oh Jesus! Oh no, I fucked up, boys. I fucked up really badly. Jean Grey's in a group full of things that are... Immune to men uh, to mental damage. Oh my god, we're getting murdered! Holy shit! Holy fuck! This is bad, boys. This is really bad. Colossus, give everyone the clap. I just take down the battle lord because. Don't need to worry about him after. There we go. Woo! That was a close one. Right, and where are we heading to now? We're just heading down this way. We got him now. Can't even pick up cars. Boss is rolled a shite. I wonder how Colossus scales on like the super power, like super strength list, because in Marvel, like every group, every team has a has a tank, you know. Like I don't think he's the Hulk of the thing levels. Oh, 
Well, but then again, he has fought Juggernaut, and Juggernaut has been used to fight the Hulk quite a lot, so... Maybe. I don't know, it's not as if it was a arbitrary... It's like, not as if there's a power scale for them. I know Marvel's database does... No, Marvel's database. Like, Marvel's official website used to have, like, power scaling for people, you know? But that was, I guess, thrown out. It's basically who, whenever the writer needs them to be. It's kind of like Goku or Superman. That's the thing, right? So, Superman is my favourite overall superhero. Like, Hulk's up there, but Superman's my, like, number one, you know? And I will shit on Dragon Ball saying, oh, it's just lazy writing whenever they need a new power, you know, let's whip out a new fucking Super Saiyan ability whenever they need to get out of something. I love Superman, who does kind of the same thing, but I just fucking love Superman, boys. He's, and if you think he's boring, you're wrong. Like, there's a clip that's in, I believe, All Star Superman. And it's uh, a woman is standing. Oh! Oh, it's Deadpool! You guys look like the cast of a really bad sitcom. Ooh, I know. I could be the wacky neighbor who winds up killing you. That ought to get your ratings up. Wait, who are you? What are you talking about? The name's Deadpool, but I wouldn't mind if you called me Bruce. Heck, you could even call me Marsha. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha! I kind of like that, don't you? Are you alright? You talk kind of weird. Me? I'm fine. Right as rain and cute as a baby's dimples. But you, on the other hand, are about to be on the receiving end of a major tush kicking courtesy of yours truly. Let me guess. You worked for Apocalypse? Close. I was recruited by a really groovy dude named Mr. Sinister. Oh sure, he looks like death warmed over, but underneath that creepy facade, you'll find out he's even creepier. Right, here we go. I've had enough of this. Let's fight. Finally, it's beating you up time! I really gotta get a new catchphrase. Right, let's scalp Deadpool. Oh god, wait, he's got his... Oh fuck. Well, that's embarrassing. Literally hit that one guy. So this is before Deadpool really became overexposed. This is Deadpool I like. This is like... X-Force Deadpool. Like nowadays Deadpool is in every Marvel comic. He's probably, he's kind of like their Harley Quinn, you know, in that level of exposure. And I'd argue outside of like, Spider-Man, like Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Deadpool's probably up there and like, he's probably in the top five Marvel. I, I think it's, it's kind of different with Marvel because the MCU's really made like, Oh god, I can't even from Deadpool. I, think I, like, I like Deadpool, I think he's a bit overexposed now. Right, here we go, get him, get him. There we go, scalp Deadpool. Yes man, fuck you Ryan Reynolds. What's that bit? We're not going to use Bishop, so... Let's jump into the sewers. So it was just kind of like a mercenary that was... That was like used sparingly after Rob Liefeld left. It was it wasn't a massive deal until when when was that? I want to say about 06, 07. That's when I knew. Art. I remember because I was actually reading the run that they got really into Deadpool on. It was around the time of Dark. I think it was Dark Rain. The North Sewers. I might be well off the time scale there, but yeah, like, Deadpool wasn't like a massive deal for ages, and then it was kind of like a cult character, you know? Like, it became so a bit obvious, and then suddenly when his movie came out, he's everywhere, and he's still everywhere in Marvel Comics. He was on, like, an Avengers team at the same time as being on an X-Men team, having his own book, and then having, like, side stories in Gwenpool, you know? And, like, being a guest star in, like, every comic, you know? But I find it weird now that he's, his character is, is like whole personality. I don't know if it's from the movies, it's just Ryan Reynolds or Ryan Reynolds' whole personality is just Deadpool. 
but like every movie Ryan Reynolds plays the same character and it's always it's always basically Deadpool you know But I remember even when I was when I was younger, and I went to see X Men Origins Wolverine. Right, right, hear me, up, boys. While I thought the Deadpool change was really stupid, I wasn't angry at it because I wasn't super into Deadpool at that point. I wasn't like, oh my god, like I wasn't as raging as some other people were. Well, I didn't like the movie. I should that's a lie. I thought uh, the guy that played Lee Schreiber, not 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 the guy that played Lee Schreiber, Lee Schreiber himself oh, was very good in it. This is not going so well for you. Please, forgive me for minutes. You know, the guy who played Sabretooth, I thought he was very good at it. Everyone else I thought was a bit shite. Or, I was more pissed off at, like, Blob and some of the other deviations they've taken. And, like, the whole like, Gambit, I didn't like what he done to Gambit. And overall, I thought the movie was a bit of a state, which it is. No, I... It's like unfinished, if I remember. Only oh, you take the big muscle man with a pop up. Whereas I've started maining uh, Colossus now, like, I've played him most of this. This edition of this Let's Play. I think it's mainly because these guys, like, they're energy resistant, some of them are mental resistant, but none of them are, are uh, physical resistant. So Colossus can just fucking ragdoll every single one of them. Who's this? Who's this big boy? Oh, it's not another muscle mummy. Ah, oh, well. Morlock Leviathan. Just ult right on top of him. Yes, man, there we go. Yet. Got an extreme X guard. Who was the extreme X Men? Oh, wait, no, I take it back. There's a. There's one that's uh, physical resistant. June Grey be able to delete them because even with her normal attacks, she does silent damage. Okay, maybe not delete them, but she can do good damage to them. Maybe should bring back Iceman. He he might be able to deal with him well. Oh, let's save point here. I'll do a save first. There we go. And what's in here? Big Xavier, the key worked. The entrance to Apocalypse Tower is now open. That's very good news to hear. But before you venture further, I would strongly recommend you return to the X Mansion and speak with me. We'll need to formulate a plan of attack if we're to defeat Apocalypse. Well, boysies, I guess we're gonna head back and talk to Professor X. Let me kill this Morlock first. I um, don't think there's anything up here apart from. Oh, just yeah, Sonic uh, one, so just. Just butter, I guess. After I get the weapon cache. Bishop's hammer, I don't use Bishop. I cannot be there we go, Colossus just wiping the floor with one. Like buff Presser X. Like I said, big Presser X, Professor fucking I don't know, I didn't I didn't have any plan like that, I just spread Professor fucking Presser Jacked. I d I don't know what I'm saying. Somehow do a jacked with an X, or buff, buff Fresher X, we'll go with that one, that works, that's the best one. Because I was struggling there, I was, I was drowning, just couldn't come up with power. But let's go talk to Big Jacked Daddy X. Of course he's not upstairs, he's... Here he is. I shall talk to Moira again. Hello my friend. It's good to see you again. Okay, I'm not getting about that. She just told me where Sebastian Shaw was. Talk to Professor X. Uh, 
What things like in New York City? The reports have been rather disheartening. Once again, it would appear Apocalypse has put people into camps. He's performing DNA tests just like he did in Genosha? Exactly, but we still don't know why. Not even Daddy, so... Uh, so Jack D's a father. My pleasure. Take me a second to click. I was like, what, what, what does she mean? Oh, wait, I know. Big father X. Uh, nothing. I, why do you want to cut? You don't have a cutscene about me telling him what to do with the plan. Maybe I'll talk to Sebastian Shaw. Maybe he's got a plan. Talk to Shaw. What's the Hellfire Club? It's an association of some of the most powerful men and women alive. Our goal is to help mold the future. What do you have against the X-Men? Your question should be, what do the X-Men have against us? Several times they've taken it upon themselves to thwart our attempts at improving the economy. Where'd you get this master key? How I managed to obtain it is better left unsaid. But originally it belonged to Apocalypse's right-hand man. Mr. Sinister. Oh. Why would Apocalypse have a secret door into his tower? Apocalypse has no knowledge of the door. It was built by Mr. Sinister. So Sinister's working behind Apocalypse's back? Oh, my friend. Sinister is constantly hatching new schemes. And Apocalypse realises it. He just tries to keep one step ahead. Thanks, Sebastian. So long as there's a profit to be made, I'm glad to be of service, X-Man. There's about such venom in his voice. Anyway, boysies, we're gonna call it there. Next time we're storming Apocalypse's Tower and we're nearing the end of the game. I don't know if next stream will be the last one, but we'll see. Bye! Thank you so much for joining us, boysies. As usual, let me just do a wee save here. Just another one, make sure. Never too careful. Anyway, boysies. Oh, cheers for joining us, Monica, and thanks for the raid. Let's get Big uh, big Daddy Peter, Big Daddy Mortimer, Big Daddy Kurt, and Big Mummy Jean. Get them all lined up. And in the meantime, say goodbye to the X-Men, because we'll see them. Well, let me work us out. So, be Friday before we see X -Men, the X-Men again. So, aye. For now. Catch you. Well, we're going to head over to the screen, so... Hi, thank you so much for joining us, boysies. As usual, I've been Mikey. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Hopefully I'll catch you in my next stream, but until then, boysies, have a good day. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Most importantly, boysies, have good mental health. Take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you next time. See yous! Oh, I forgot to say, uh, cheers for the raid, me uh, the raid uh, Monica, and cheers for the uh, sub, Megan. Bye, catch you. See yous!